Ah, uh, god damn it, man. <laughs> this just happened with the last video I did of Saw 6. Not the same way. Like, that was my camera fucked up, or I ran out of space on my hard drive. That's what happened. And it stopped the recording. I went to hit pause, and I hit stop by accident. So now this is going to be, like usual, part two of, of uh, Final Destination 1. I may edit it together. I might. I said the same thing in the Saw video, though, and that didn't happen. So, not happening, is what I'm saying. But yes, this is dead. <laughs> I like when Carter, he's just like, you're the fucking devil. <laughs> That's a great line. God damn, man, like, like I said earlier, well, not in this video, in the first part, Sawa just kills it in this movie. Like, I, I know some people that don't care for him. Or don't think he does a great job in this movie. I think he's excellent in this movie. Like, I couldn't think of anybody else to play Alex in this movie but Devin Sawa. And he's just, like, when he's going off and just, like, he sounds like a, like a mental case. But he's right. Like, what are you just going to If I see it, then, then I can intervene. If I intervene, then I can... And just the whole way, that whole speech by him is excellent. Totally excellent. And all right, this is what I'm going to do. Because I, I've said this before, the only reason I don't edit shit together if this happens is because I have very good editing software that I never use. Be, but the f one or two times that I did splice two videos together, I guess because of the length of my videos, it takes like six, seven hours to process like the edit and stuff, like that file, and and work like it takes hours and hours and hours so i don't want to wait like i just want to get shit up for you guys like immediately so if anything i'll I, i'm gonna post these two and then let it sit and uh do its thing for six seven hours and then i'll up that one and delete the other two so that's what i'll do thinking out loud well i'm talking so talking out loud while thinking and for some of my new subscribers lately if you're not used to seeing a lot of my videos, welcome to the channel that has no production value and doesn't give a shit. So, hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> and this shit, it rarely happens, even though it happened two in a row now with, <laughs> with these, with Saw 6 and this. But it always happens when there's like 20 minutes left in the movie. And then this part two ends up being like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. It's always the end. Like, it never happens halfway through. It doesn't happen like 15 minutes in. No. It always has to be right at the end when the video's going fine. I think everything's good. And then, fuck you, says life. <laughs> and it just messes with it. This is like the fifth time it's happened. But, I mean, five out of like 400 videos, that's not too bad. But I, I will edit this one together. Because I love you guys. Kiss three. This F, these FBI agents are really terrible at their job. Like, they're, they're staking out Claire's house. And he's like, I just saw her. She was there a minute ago. And she just walks up on the car, like, <laughs> right next to the white, uh, uh, white dude FBI agent. What if they were staking out a murderer? Or like an armed suspect or something like that. He would have walked right up on him, and they would, he could have stabbed this guy right in the throat. Like, they don't have good situational awareness at all. And then I like how he locks himself away, like, in, his, in this little cabin hut, or is her, I think it's Clear's, like, family cabin or something like that. I don't remember. I was too distracted with being pissed off that the video stopped. Well, I stopped it by accident. But still, I'm pissed at myself for that. But then he remembers that he didn't move. So his seat was in front of Clear's, and now he realizes that she's next. That's a cool little reveal there. And I really love the feel of this movie, and like the, how it looks and how it was filmed. Like, it, it has a 90s feel to it still. Because this was filmed in, I'm guessing, 99. I don't think it was film, filmed two years ahead, you know, in 98, and then released in 2000. Like, I'm sure it was 99. So it was in the 90s. And it feels that way still. It has that, like, late 90s transition into the new millennium time feeling, if that makes sense at all. It has that feel to it, and I really enjoy that. 
minutes. And yeah, see, this is going to be like a seven minute video. So, <laughs> got a seven, six, seven hours to edit shit together, edit the two of these together because of seven minutes. That's chopped off the end of the first video. <sighs> White person YouTuber problems. Then, like, a squad of the FBI show up, like a shitload of them, and they're running, chasing Alex through the woods, and the stupid white dude with the glasses that's been bugging him this whole movie screams out, Alex, we're trying to help you. Yeah, if I had, like, a whole patrol group, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, a whole group of FBI agents chasing me through the woods, I'm running too. Like, I'm running away. Because that doesn't seem like they want to help you in any way, shape, or form. Aw, a cute doggy. Alex gets squished by a Christmas tree, almost. Looks like one. And hey, he finally took his glasses off, the prick uh, FBI guy. Good for him. And this whole near-end thing with clear, with the lightning, with the cable that's sparking and everything like that. She's climbing on the house to get in, like... It's meh. It always has been for me. Like, it's not that great of an ending for this movie. I mean, this isn't the end, but it's like near the end. And it's never really done it for me. It's not bad or anything. It's just, it's, it's fine. Like, it's just they've done so much better and so much more creative stuff in this movie up until this point. And then this is just like kind of whatever at this point. Like, I don't know. Something about it just doesn't hit for me as well as the rest of the movie. I don't know if it's because it's so it's fucking almost six in the morning, but he throws the shovel, and the shot of it is like it, it's twirling right towards you. And it kind of made me go. It made me jump <laughs> for a second. Like almost it looked like three D. Like the shovel was about to hit me in the face. Made me jump. Like that. That's odd. Yeah. Alex grabs the cable, and the, the car explodes, and he survives that explosion. Get the hell out of here. Six months later, and they're going to Paris finally, and they they got back on another plane. Are you are you serious? They got back on a plane after all of this that just happened to them. They would be the last people on Earth to get on a plane again. But there's no problem. They just got on a plane. Are you serious? Like I said, there's a whole bunch of people that won't even get on a plane without. Like, near death and getting off a plane and it, and then it explodes. And then they decide to go back on another plane. I don't care if I had to rowboat to Paris. Are you serious? I would never get on a plane again after going through what they went through. And Alex even nonchalantly says it. He's like, I can't believe we got on a plane again. Uh, I'm like, haha. He didn't really laugh, but it's like, come on, man. Like, really? They got on a plane? It's just to get them to Paris so one of them, so Carter can die, right? And Carter is now a changed man. He's not mean to Alex anymore. He messes with him a little bit, jokingly, but that's the story of the love story between Carter and Alex Browning. And they lived happily ever after. Because Alex starts talking about and bringing back up the, the plane crash and stuff after they just got off a plane. <laughs> And starts talking about the path of it and stuff and saying that he intervened with and saved Carter's life and Billy was the next one and he died and then she, he interfered with Claire and then it skipped her and went to him but then he didn't die and it skipped him and then like who's next and all of that and then <laughs> they're just gonna all die after Claire starts saying maybe this is the whole plan all along maybe this was death maybe this was the design that the three of them were meant to live out of everybody on the plane I mean, I guess you could hope, right? But not what we see at the end here. See, this is what I mean. Because then Clear sees the bus in the reflection. Just like Alex did early in the film. So what is her reason for this? Like, why does she see visions and stuff? I'll never understand it. It makes no sense. And it, it didn't have to be in this movie. It is cool, though, when the, the sign, the neon light sign that says 180 swings down and almost kills Alex and then Carter moves the metal away and uh, then the whatever it is comes down and kills Carter and then it's just Alex and Clear left a great couple but the ending of uh that's the end of the love story of <laughs> of Carter and Alex because he's dead 
So he moves on quick and he goes right to Claire. And then Claire is in like a padded room in the next one and stuff. And we find out Alex died. And they don't even bother like bringing him back for like he didn't want to come back or something. I don't know the whole story behind that. But what a classic movie, man. Like this is a movie that just every time I watch it, it brings me back to like that time period. Like the early 2000s. And it's very nostalgic for me, this movie. And the next one, too. The third, fourth, and fifth one, I don't have as much nostalgia for. Because, like, I... I don't know, the years went by and everything, I guess. But I love three, like I said. Four is just not great. And five is decent. That's how I remember them. So, it's going to be interesting rewatching the rest of these. But this is an absolute classic early 2000s movie with a great premise and just handled so well. The only negatives I can give it, besides my nitpicky stuff I always do, is I don't like the whole thing with Clear's visions. It makes no sense. And fucking Stifler. Like, that's basically it. Like, there isn't much else that, like, is a negative, like a real negative for me, except for that. And the, the dickhead FBI agent. But, I mean, he took his glasses off finally, so he's seeing clearly now. <laughs> but seriously, great movie. So, can't wait to do the next one. Final Destination 2, but I still have Saw 7, Jigsaw, and uh, Spiral. I don't want, I'm not looking forward to Spiral. Love the other two. So, I don't know what I'm going to do next. Tomorrow, probably Final Destination 2. Maybe do Saw 7, and then Final Destination 2. So I can finish up that one. Saw while I'm, you know, starting and getting into Final Destination. So, yeah, great rewatch. I always love rewatching this movie. And it's always great to see Devin Sawa, like, back in the day. And he just kills it in this movie. So, that's Final Destination 2000. James Wong. Not Wan. Wong. Ching Ching Wong. <laughs> that's from a movie. I, I can't think of what. But I can't think of much right now. It's like 6 in the morning. I haven't slept. But where, hey, guys, wherever you're from, I hope you're having a good morning or a night. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.